Morning gang, Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com talking to you, making a brew. Kettle's on, cup's ready, tea bags to hand. How's life? What's going on at the moment, isn't there? Are we going to get out of lockdown? Or is it going to be thrown back at us with the Indian variant? Oh my goodness, so much going on. Israel kicking off. David Cameron in courts, Nicola Sturgeon, Boris Johnson on the ropes, but maybe not. Maybe it's um, Keir Starmer on the ropes. Who knows? Who cares? Well, we do care, don't we? Because it affects our life. One of the reasons I came to Thailand was to get out of the rat race. That was the original plan. Things changed from my original plan. And... Um, life evolves but we all seem to be a bit stagnated at the moment waiting for it all to happen when i worked for the aa i was in a, a routine there was working practices and i knew my shifts although it was um, sometimes i worked days sometimes i worked nights sometimes i worked 12 hour shifts that quite often got extended to 12 14 hours i worked weekends sometimes i was on short shifts what they call cdr customer driven rostering came out of that and then I um, I did my own thing for a bit under the banner of Mind Focus Group which was a company I formed and I got very busy with that working from home and going over to Germany and down to Lancaster Infirmary and up to Cardiff and Glamorganshire County Council working for Colwyn Borough County Council and yet I got busy with that we just get busy all the time quite easy to miss life and at the moment we feel like we're missing life you know we might be waiting for restrictions to be lifted so we can get back to the pub and now we're being told that there's this Indian variant so no surprise that Boris is going to make possibly another U-turn we had David Cameron yesterday defending himself we've had Nicholas Sturgeon all of a sudden all these politicians in the government, 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 to govern your mentality, are being put against the wall and questioned about their integrity. As I say, it's all going on, isn't it? How's it affecting you? How's your life? I moved to Thailand to get out the rat race, to improve my health, improve my mindset for a period of time and it's done that I mean I'm surrounded by organic fruit <laughs> and uh, as I say making a brew talking to you I got up late this morning I um, was working through the night because of the time differential time zones mentoring some of my spiritual students and corporate business clients and I love it. It keeps the grey matter working. I don't, um, if you don't use your brain, it literally atrophies and dies. So I don't want to become brain dead. <laughs> so I research, I read, I write, <clears throat> I create, I share knowledge. And um, that's what keeps me going. What's keeping you going? Just think about that while I go and get the milk. probably have a good laugh at me talking to you while I'm making a brew no shave mosquito bite on the end of my nose wearing my 50 baht Thai elasticated waist farming pants what are called um, temple trousers love them so easy there's no there's no fashion parade here. <laughs> People wear what's practical. In fact, they cover up and they think I'm crazy being sort of like in my summer stripped to the waist. All the locals here cover up. They don't want to, they've got olive skin. They don't want it to go black. Uh, I actually quite, uh, I actually want a suntan. 
vitamin D helps my condition where the locals cover up. But whatever your belief system, how are you coping with what's going on at the moment? People come to me because they want to cope. There's so much going on, there's too much to take in. A lot of people are in disbelief of it. Trust me, these are changing, challenging times. These are historical times. We've got Israel. I mean, that's tragic, devastating, unnecessary. Superpowers fighting each other. Religious wars that never changed since Jesus walked on the earth. Or whoever your prophet was. Division. People fighting for political and religious reasons. Happens in Ireland, doesn't it? Happened all over Europe. And it's being resurrected now. And it's going in a, a dangerous direction. So pray for that. Send love and healing and positivity towards that. Whatever your belief system, put your attention on that lovingly. And send a healing vibration towards it because we need that to balance. We need that to stop. We don't want to go back to those days. We've had that in the past, it doesn't work. Wars don't work. Conflict is counterproductive. Even down to an argument between people and disagreement, don't do it. Every time you argue, you, every time you get angry, get annoyed, come out with something that you probably regret, and often do, it just adds hate and negative vibration attacking people we don't want any attack thoughts so when tell my vision is creating division with all this divisive news just bless yourself and bless the world don't react to it don't react to Israel with fear react with love and send love don't react to all these politicians with fear or disgust and go and tell your mates down the pub, but you can't go to the pub, but you know what I mean. Get on social media and start spreading doom and gloom and amplifying the vibration of division and hate and fear and worry and anxiety and stress. Don't do that. Just go inside yourself, find some peace. And if you're going to comment on it, comment on it lovingly. Send love. Send the vibration of love. Do things that you love. Think lovingly. Every time you're tempted to say something negative, think something negative, because it always starts with a thought, just go inside yourself and shift. Because at the moment, as I said right at the beginning, it's all going on. Eat healthy. You might not be able to get mangoes like that. <laughs> but eat, eat what I call food that's got electricity, energy giving foods that brightens up your body. Enjoy a cup of tea with me. Drink plenty of water. Get away from genetically modified, over-processed convenience fast foods and eat organic or raw or healthy or natural. Don't over-consume. Get away from excess sugars. Keep your mind bright and alert. Like I said this morning, I got up, I was studying, I was reading, I was writing positively. And every time I'm tempted myself to get on my high horse, which I do a lot, <laughs> I make sure that what I say is constructive and kind and positive and moves me towards the world that I want to live in. And I make sure that me, Mike Garner, Michael Garner, is the sort of person that I would want to meet. The change starts with me and it starts with you. And there's all this big stuff, big stuff going on on the cinema screen of the world being projected to us on television. A lot of it is lies, a lot of it is biased, a lot of it is uh, selective reporting. I remember as a child that there was always a load of horror stories in the news. Bad news, bad news, bad news, shock, horror, terror, anxiety, stress. 
And then right at the end, the final news story would be something about a fluffy rabbit or somebody's dog or some happy story. You'll know what I mean. They try and do it now. They try and end a 25 minute news broadcast, which is a fear broadcast to control you, to put you into a mindset that's not helpful at all and not healthy at all. And then at the end of it, they'll tell you something funny to make it sound light, which will be a little snippet, a little sound bite of something ridiculous. Have you ever wondered, I mean, there's so many wonderful things going on in the world, so many wonderful things to see, to do, to report on, to talk about, to have in your mind. But there's no positive news, is there? They don't report it. They report all the, all the bad stuff the scary stuff and most of the bad stuff and the scary stuff is being produced, manufactured and then it's being shared across the globe. Have you ever wondered why? Think about that. If you want to talk to me about that then you, we need to have a private conversation because now I've got to be so careful what I say otherwise I'll be deleted and even that in itself holds us back, stops us expressing ourselves. It limits us. Don't be limited, but don't go into fear. And look for the positive things in your life with your loved ones, friends, family, and at work. And dwell on the positive things in the world and learn. If, if, even if it's selfish, the more you learn, the more you earn. But fill your mind with positive things, what I call emotional vitamins for the mind. Just keep yourself on a positive path while the world does its own thing. So, and if you want to, I'm here to help. You can always talk to me with a cup of tea as I talk to you with a brew. Have a powerful day, enjoy your mind. And as I say, when you see this stuff coming up on uh, Tell Live Vision or you see it on social media or wherever you get in your news feeds, in that moment, don't curse it, kiss it. Bless it. Say a little prayer or a little intention. Cosmic ordering, whatever your process. Even if you're a witch, cast a spell. A positive, healing, loving, constructive spell so that we can overcome all this doom and gloom and darkness in what is at the moment an interesting, challenging world. But from it we can grow and we can get closer as a community in the unity if we allow ourselves to don't look for division don't blame somebody else i was taught that when you point the finger there's three one two three pointing back and that three pointing back means it's usually your fault or your perception that's wrong and that actually one out there three going back you've got the power to do something about it by being kind yourself as i say the change that you want to see in the world starts with you and me we and um, I'm massively into personal power, not politics, because that's what the world's about. It's about powerful people, peacefully, positively, passionately, shifting the vibration. And we can do it because you are powerful, because you have a powerful mind. Enjoy your mind, be powerful. God bless.